Hey tubers, how's it going? Gracie Gunfire. So this is a fox trap we built to try and catch a, a fox that's been in the area. Now I'm in an urban environment, so uh, it's a bit difficult to um, go out and shoot them. So you just can't do it. So we've had to build this trap. It's pretty easy to produce if you ever want to produce one yourself. It's just a um, bit of uh, 50 by 50 mesh. And she got this from Bunnings, um, about 56 odd bucks I think it was. And uh, had a lot of um, brackets from various projects. Um, actually, funnily enough, IKEA brackets. There's a lot of IKEA products sitting in here. You might recognise it if you guys build a lot of IKEA stuff. Um, it's just a slide door trap. I'll just show you how it works. Uh, the front door is basically a hinge door, and it's got a bar which slides down, which locks it in. Down the back of the trap, it's actually um, got a uh, basically something off the old barbecue. Um, it's the old uh, spit um, lever. And it's a square bit of rod, and uh, down the bottom there you can probably see it's got the old uh, hooks that you hook the meat into. Just uh, holds a piece of uh, KFC, perfect for the, the fox. A bit of KFC and a lead in with a bit of um, juice from sardines you get from uh, from Woolies, a local supermarket, wherever you want to go. So how that it works, it's pretty easy. I'll just give you a demo, because you'll see it uh, drop pretty easily. Just one second. We'll set it up. Okay, basically that easy. Set up, fox goes in, when he takes the bait, pulls this lever forward in the bottom, fox is in there, can't get away. So yeah, if you want to make one up, have a bit of a look at it. So it's worthwhile doing, it's a good project, it only took me a couple of hours, just bent it, so forth. Uh, on the top, this is actually all from Bunnings really, that rod along the top. These Bunnings I had these old brackets um, from Bunnings as well. Funnily enough, just uh, retrofitted it. It ended up getting a door on the end as well, just to get the bait in there. Just a little lock. And then we cut a cut a bit of a door. You can actually get your hand down there and put the bait on. You can see that lever move. So uh, yeah, not a bad project. Up. Now I've got to try and catch one. See if it actually works. But uh, you can see these rails down here. Sorry about the camera work. These rails down here. Basically, it's a 25 by 25 mil bar drilled holes in it, and that just slides down these rails. You've got to get it fairly right. This is actually uh, bracketing. There are uh, pieces I picked up at Bunnings, obviously. Brackets. That's actually just a bit of uh, 50 mil galvanised bar. These are brackets from Ikea. Funnily enough, these grey pieces are actually Ikea brackets that come with some of their big storage units that you used to bolt on the back of the wall to modify that out. Um, hooked on, it's more Bunnings um, and Ikea product right there. Just a bit of scrap hanging around. And I just had this on the top, I just put this over the top of it just to stop it from flapping around when it goes away. But to give you some idea of the bar work, it's pretty easy really if you have a look at that. That's just a bit of bar which I've bent. See that okay, and yeah, it works. Uh, works pretty well. Anyway, if you want to build something like that, this gives you an idea. It's um, pretty easy to do. Bend it into shape, and away you go. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day. Happy trapping.